Because HIV is easily transmitted through blood transfusion, it is important for blood banks to test all donations for HIV. Blood banks in first world countries test all their blood both for antibodies against HIV and for HIV genetic material. To test for antibodies, several HIV antigens, pieces of the virus that the human body produces antibodies against, are attached to a plate. The blood plasma to be tested is added to the plate. If the donor is infected with HIV, their plasma will almost always contain antibodies against HIV. If these antibodies are present, they will bind to antigens on the plate. The plate is washed and only the HIV antigens and HIV antibodies, if they are present, will remain on the plate. Antibodies that bind to HIV antibodies are added to the plate. These antibodies have been attached to enzymes that allow technicians to see them under fluorescent light. If the serum contains HIV antibodies, the secondary antibodies will bind to them. The plate is then washed again. If the blood sample contained HIV antibodies, the plate should now contain the original HIV antigens, HIV antibodies, secondary antibodies, and fluorescent enzyme. In this case, the plate will glow under a certain frequency of light. If the blood sample was free of the HIV antibodies, the plate should only contain the original HIV antigens and will not fluoresce.